Welcome back, no fancy intro in this video. We're gonna get right into it and I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble this 3D printed snap fit case where I've designed these inserts to hold a 99 piece drill bit set. In this case, it's a metric drill bit set and I'll put links in the video description down below to the files so you guys can print this case yourself as well as links to the drill bit set that I'm using. And so if you guys like what you see, follow those links, print your parts, come on back and follow along with this video. What you're looking at here is the outer shell of the case, the latches and the hardware that you'll need. All of the parts were printed in regular PLA plus, so nothing too exotic. And I'm holding up the top of the case with my embrace making logo on it and the front latch. The front latch is held in place on the top lid with these spring pins that are 1 8 inch in diameter and 1 and 3 quarter inches long. Now there'll be a press fit through the top lid and they'll pass through the clearance hole in the black latch. I prefer to use a workbench vise to get the split pins into place. And when you do this, do not forget to put your latch in that assembly. Otherwise you're gonna have a hard time pressing those pins back out. Keep in mind that you're press fitting into plastic. So don't go overboard with the amount of pressure. You do not need a whole lot. And once the pin is in there, the latch should be able to move around freely. The same task can be performed on the bottom half of the case using a split pin of the exact same size that we used on the top half. Now what you want to do on the bottom half is point the split in the split pin straight up. You do not want it facing down because we want the smooth side facing down and that's where the top latch will engage with that pin to lock the case in place closed. Now circling back to the top of the case, we're going to be installing the rear hinges and to do that we're going to be pressing in more spring pins and these are again 1 8 inch diameter, but these ones are shorter at only 3 quarter inch long. One end of the rear hinge has a sharp bend in it and I like to orient this towards the top half of the case. And in the same manner, I'm just going to carefully press the pin through using my bench vise. And just like the front latch, the rear hinges should be able to rotate freely. And then we can go ahead and do the other side. Now, if you watch carefully, I'm inserting the pins from the outside of the case towards the center of the case. And that's because I've designed these parts with slightly different tolerances on the outside holes versus the inside holes. So you should be able to get the spring pin in with your fingers through the outside first. And then it's a tighter press fit through that little inside tab. Finally, yes, you guessed it, you're going to repeat this whole process all over again on the bottom half of the case. The same 1 8 inch diameter spring pins by 3 quarter inches long are used and you're going to have to do a little bit more finesse work with this because you're going to have to hold the two halves of the case together while you press fit that final spring pin into place on the bottom half of the case. Again, you'll notice that I'm pressing the pins from the outside in and once you're done, the case should be connected both top and bottom half. Go ahead and test out the snap fit latch on the front. And if your printer tolerances are any good, it should be a nice tight fit. Similarly, when opening the case, you should have to apply a pretty reasonable amount of force to get it open. I've dropped several of these cases now and none of them have popped open on their own. So the fit of the latch is very secure. Lastly, we're going to be installing everything on the inside of the case, starting with the foam that goes in the top half. Anything in the 10 to 12 millimeter thickness will do. I happen to find this stuff in my trash can and I just cut it to size. In the 3D printable files that I've provided in the video description down below, you'll also find a series of dividers for the drill bits. I've organized this metric drill bit set such that the largest drill bits go in the bottom of the case. The middle shelf will get the next sizes up and the top shelf will get the smallest of the drill bits. The nice thing about this case is that with that foam insert in the top, even if you were to shake the case around while it's closed, none of the drill bits will get mixed up. They'll all still be perfectly in place once you open that case back up. So that's all there is to it. Overall, it's a very quick, easy and functional build. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please put them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to check out the links in the video description to get these files for yourself for free. Thank you so much for watching and if you guys would like to support my channel, please check out some of my other videos and visit my website embracemaking.com.